Hello there. And am I too high? I feel like I'm just so high. Like, what's going on? Oh my gosh. Okay, is that better? So today we have an AliExpress haul. What, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, I'm so cringy. You know, people could be like singing along to a song and like doing some moves and they could look quite cool doing it. Well, I'm the kind of person that if I ever think, right, do you know what? I'm looking super cool right now and I film myself, you know, just like miming along like, yeah, get that booty down, get the booty down, shake it all around, twerk it up and down. And I'll be like, do, 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 thinking I'm looking super cool. And I watch it back and I'm just like, ah, no. I just look like an idiot. That's me, guys. But anyway, so today we've got some... It's makeup mostly, but I have a couple of other pieces within here. So, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to begin with the first one, guys, because we do not need a long intro, do we? No, we do not. Even now, my brain's trying to think of, like, oh, I'm going to tell them about this. No, 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 tell them about that. That happened on Tuesday. No, guys, I'm going to be professional today. Okay, so the first item that I got is another Diamond Glow Highlighter. This is by our favourite Fuckle Your. And I feel like I may have to do a dance today because I don't just have one product by Fuckle Your. I have two. And I feel like that deserves the dance. So, like, shall we do it? If you want to fuck around... That's fine if you wanna fuck up and then down. That's fine, but don't fuck around with my vagina. Vagina! If you wanna walk like an Egyptian. That's fine if you wanna slide like a snake. That's fine, but don't. Fuck around with my vagina. Vagina. So you can't fuck around with my monkey stand. It can be manipulated to stand in lots of different kinds of positions. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. You can fuck around with my big pens. They don't mind because they love to play and colour in things. Hey. So you can't fuck around with my shiny makeup bag because she is so shiny and she's quite the slag. But you can fuck around with my Toy Story bag. Woody is so big and he has a brown hat. So if you want to fuck around then I'll fuck you in your face. You can fuck with my pens, you can fuck with my bag, you can even fuck with my monkey stand. But don't fuck around with my vagina. Unicorn vagina. One other thing I've got to add to the list. One other thing that has been pissing off my gist. You can fuck all day and night with my fecking fucky blinking flashy light. Okay, so guys, that was so much fun. Actually, that was a perfect example of what I was saying before in that I just look like an absolute idiot when I'm dancing or doing anything. But anyway, guys, so I got another one of the Goal highlighters. I got this one in the shade Nova Light. This is the most beautiful icy peach shade. I've actually got it on right now because I did just film out a video where I was trying out some makeup, believe it or not. Like, I mean, I, mean, I know, guys, you must be shocked right now. But yes, like I was trying makeup and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try this highlighter on. The formula is absolutely consistent with the other shade I've got, which is Rose Radiance. It's got that beautiful, wet look sheen. It's blinding, but not too intense. Like, I still feel like you could maybe get away with this looking almost natural. Like, probably not. But I, I, I like to think that people might look at me and say, oh my gosh, she is lit from within. She is gullwing. Gullwing from deep inside. So this looks peach, but yeah, on the skin, it does take on more of like an icy tone. It has a tiny bit of warmth to it, but I would probably describe this as being a cooler toned highlighter. I think she would look absolutely gorgeous on olive tanned deeper skin. I think she looks good on fair skin as well. She is a universal kind of highlighter, which don't we all love a good universal? I mean, really? So yeah, this was absolutely gorgeous. I know that I did say 
that I was going to do like a side by side with my old uh, Rodeo Drive and this because I thought this was going to be a shade kind of match for a dupe but I've kind of realised that it's not this is much more icy um, whereas the Rodeo Drive has a lot more kind of warmth to it and it kind of has that sun glowed kind of effect so I'm not going to do side by side because I definitely don't think that the shades are similar. Um, but the formula, oh my gosh, watch out Ofra, watch out Becca. Does anyone care about Becca anymore? Like, I feel like they just don't. But maybe that's just me, I don't know. Like, I don't really watch that many makeup videos these days because I just think that the the... The community is a little bit like, you know, like, like everyone's just, I don't know, backbiting each other. Is that the word? Backbite? No, back backstabbing each other. Everyone's just like, you know, just trying to get the knife in. And it just seems like there's a, a just one group of like, you know, super popular beauty YouTubers. And they're just fighting amongst themselves. James Charles looking at you. I mean, really, guys, Jeffree Star, fecking hell, I'm looking at him. But they're just all fighting amongst each other, and then we're just meant to just come along for the ride. Don't fecking think so. Life's too short for that drama. Like, I love drama. Like, I love 90 Day Fiancé, as you know. I am always there for the drama, apart from when it's at the beauty community, because not for me, guys. He's so petty, and I'm petty, but I can't be doing with petty drama. I only like it when I'm the one dishing it out. I mean, really, guys. So, anyway, this is a Gojina. It's Gojina. If you want to try an icy peach, just goddamn beautiful highlighter, give her a go. You will not regret it. Okay, so the next Focolio product that we have is the Heavy Metallic Liquid Lipstick. Comes in this absolutely gorgeous, shiny rose gold packaging. And I know, what was the point in me even acknowledging that? Because who keeps this? I don't think anyone does. Like, this will be in the bin within seconds of me finishing the video. But I just, I, you know, I can appreciate the effort they went to so okay so look guys oh look at this oh oh my gosh she looks so beautiful so this is a metallic so this describes itself as being a heavy metallic liquid lipstick but to me i mean it definitely looks metallic but it also looks like it's got lots of little glitters in there the description is that it's a liquid lip formula in a mirror like metallic or fiercely pigmented finish what do you understand this guys because i don't it's a liquid lip formula in a mirror like metallic or why are you giving us an or in a description you meant to be telling us what it is i don't want an or because then you're leaving an element of doubt that i have to be like oh it's this or it's this and i understand like with a foundation or like highlighter you know you can kind of build it up so you can have like a sheer look or you know super bold look but with this like it could be mirror like metallic or fiercely pigmented finish well i don't think it can be two like which one is it or oh, actually i suppose you could because you could put it one layer on and it could be the mirror like metallic and you could put another layer on and it could be a pigmented finish yeah, I'm wrong, guys. Just ignore me. But anyway, guys, this looks really interesting. So I don't think I've tried any of these heavy metal, magnetic, metallic. I just don't know what they are. But I don't think I've tried any of these before. Okay. Oh, oh, back off, Nelly. Look at this. Do you know what? This would be absolutely gorgeous if it was a liquid eyeshadow. Could you just imagine that on your lid? You would look like the most amazing unicorn ever. Just look at this, guys. Oh, wow. Do you know what? I could look at this all day. Like, I could. If I didn't have anything better to do with my life, I, so, I could. Like, I wouldn't want to, but I could. Oh, wow. Should we try her now? I just feel like I have to. Like, I, I just I need to. Do you know what? I won't. I'm going to wait till the end of the video because if it goes wrong, I'm going to get really pissed off. Okay, so next is a product that I did briefly show in another video. It was actually the disappointing 
AliExpress products video that I put recently and I actually I thought that this product was something else and it wasn't. It was a little bit of an unfortunate situation honestly but I thought you know what we need to give her a proper moment, a proper premiere, a proper unveiling and bring her out within the haul. So this is a liquid eyeliner, it's by Kamaju. It is a purple glitter and it comes in the cutest packaging ever which is a little kind of coat bottle. I just think this is it's just so, mm, mm, so cute. And look, you've got a tiny little nib at the end. There we go. If I just do a little so what? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Exactly what I thought it would be. It's purple glitter, you know. Don't think I actually had to do a swatch to find that out but I mean this looks so so cute I am definitely going to be trying this out soon and honestly you know even if it's shit I'll probably just like I'll pop it on my shelf as a little display piece you know or maybe give it to the boys so their superhero figures can have a little drink if they get thirsty I really really like that and it's so cute can you see my lights flashing you may not be able to see this, but the ray, the freaking light is flashing. You know when you catch something out of the corner of your eye and you're like, holy feck, what's that? Is it a ghost? Is it a poltergeist? No, it's just my light that's flashing. Just this bit at the top. I wonder why it's doing that, guys. Do you know what? I, I'm not going to investigate. Don't really care. But I hope he's not distracting you. But, okay, so guys, do you know what? He's distracting me. I can just see it in the corner of my eye. Like, what is it doing? Oh, also, guys, I am well and truly getting into the Halloween spirit. When I say well and truly, I mean just a little bit, actually. I just bought this. It's a skull goblet. Like, I love a good goblet. Uh, so I thought this would be, like, really fun to put, like, makeup brushes or maybe, like, eyeliners or something in. Lipsticks. I just love it. Oh, my gosh, look at me. Oh, sorry guys, I'm just enjoying a little drink. So, okay, so the next product that we have is, I can see it, I can see that flashing, but I'm just gonna be the bigger person and ignore it. Okay, so next we have a Prep Set and Glow Spray by, it says iconic, it's not, it's a fake. I don't know if I realized this when I was buying it or just didn't, maybe they just missed, you know, the all important iconic fake rebranding on there but um i don't know it must have looked so good i just bought it or maybe it did say iconic and i just bought it anyway like that that is quite conceivable so i've not opened this yet this is like the grand unveiling it's in the shade zero one so i'm thinking it's gonna be like a lighter kind of shade <gasps> oh, guys look although i do feel like maybe the postman or courier service maybe use a little bit because we do have a little bit of a gap at the top but this is one of those setting sprays or face mist that have a glitter in look at that guys again i could just look at this all day and just forget about all of my problems i think this is it says prep set glow on it but it doesn't really have any other info so i'm assuming that you could use this before you apply your makeup you could use it to set your makeup or you could just use it to glow i'm going to try this at the end of the haul so that we can actually see i mean it is in a glass bottle which is novel for aliexpress i don't know if the real iconic prep set and glow comes in a glass bottle like maybe not i just feel like a lot of brands nowadays perhaps me if you're charlotte tilbury don't really tend to put their makeup in glass bottles but um because it always makes like he makes me nervous honestly i'd prefer plastic any day i just find that glass you know there's a risk factor there which is cutting off your finger and I, i'm just not down just because i'm quite clumsy okay so guys the next product we have is by novo for me when i think about Novo I think of high quality style and that's it really that's what I think about but even like the outer box it feels kind of expensive and again like, I just get the feeling they put a, a, a lot of I was gonna say a bit I feel like they put a bit of thought or maybe even a lot we don't know so this is a oh guys guys everything is in 
I think Chinese, but I don't want to just assume it's Chinese because it might not be. But yeah, this is all I know is it's an eyeshadow. It's an eyeshadow, and at least they didn't put a barcode over that. I mean, praise the god of barcode stickers. I'm so pleased. Okay, so guys, let's get it out. Let's let's get it out. Oh my gosh, look at her. Look at this. Like she reminds me of the 60s somehow just because of the shape and the colour and the feel. I just feel like this is like the kind of makeup that, you know, a 60s lady, like maybe Twiggy, she would buy and she would love. Oh my gosh. I don't know why. This is not what I was expecting, but I'm not disappointed. Like... Okay, so look at this, guys. I was a bit worried, I think. Like, I was taken aback thinking, has somebody stuck their finger in there? And that that disappointed me for a minute, but I don't think they have. The only thing that has disappointed me, and it's to do with the sticker, as always, is that they've not, like, centred it on the back, and that pisses me off because the packaging is really, really pretty. It feels high quality. And then some fecker, whose job it is to put stickers onto the packaging, just it all up he was having a bad day he said you know what feck these stickers feck this brand I fecked off so he did that I mean really oh it feels so soft oh my gosh guys it's it looks really nice it looks really really nice I mean this feels so soft like you could barely feel it it's smooth, it's silky, it just went on like butter. It's definitely not super pigmented and opaquely metallic. It's very sheer, but it's got this most beautiful duochrome. It's kind of a lime green and then it's a rosy pink. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. So, I mean, this looks really good. And look where I swatched it in the middle. Can you see? Because I kind of like, I didn't scrape off, but I, what did I do? I did something to the top layer. I swiped the top layer. I swiped, that made me think of Dora. Swipey, no, swipey, swipey, no, swipey. Has anyone seen, you know, I'm thinking of Benicio Del Toro, but that's not who it is. The drag queen, what's her name? The one that won? the funniest drag queen in the world what is her name bianca del rio is it am i making this up i feel like that is not the right name bianca del rio anyway you know the one i mean she's hilarious the one that did judge judy on snatch time and she, she just killed it well oh do you know i forgot the original point like i forgot the original point what was i even telling you about i don't know anyway it mustn't have been that important but at least you found out that I love Bianca Del Rio. I still don't think that's her name, but I think you know who I mean. Anyway, guys. So, guys, 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 guys. The second to final product we have today is by Hand Diane. So, this is a, it's long wear. I don't know if it's a lipstick. I don't know if it's a concealer, a lip liner i just don't know what it is but it just says long wear so i'm assuming it's going to be a lipstick but assuming makes an ass out of me and you so we will not do that um okay so it's in the shade 06 and i think it's like a little lip topper unless it's a liquid eyeshadow and then we'll be talking because this would look insanely gorgeous up on the eye but i don't know i feel like it's actually a lip topper which you know is fine should we try it what shade zero six maybe if i just like half a little bit you know in the center of my lip ah oh, this is nice yeah guys this is so good oh, i'll hold a little bit here Oh, it smells nice as well. I'm always surprised when AliExpress makeup smells nice because generally it doesn't. Okay, so there we go. Oh, yes, she approves. Oh, yes, she does. So, guys, I am... Oh, my gosh, so happy with everything. But look at this. You know the iconic... 
Prep set glow, can you see? Because all of the glitter has settled at the bottom. How she looks now. She it's like she got undressed. Like before she was like wowing us with her wonderful dress. And now she's just naked. She's like, oh yes, all of that sparkle is gone now. Um okay, so I was gonna try this, wasn't I? Should we give it a go? Oh, I don't know, should I save it? I feel like I want to save it for another video. And also, I'm a little bit worried that if it goes wrong, I'm going to feck up my whole face. And I've got to go to a football match later, so I don't really want to be fecking up my face. Not that anybody there will probably notice anything about my face anyway, because they're there to watch football. But anyway, guys, I am going to go. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. If you don't come back, I understand. I get it. But I would love to see you back. So anyway, have a lovely rest of the day and I will see you in the next video. Oh my gosh guys, so I was just taking some selfies, unicorn selfies in the window and this guy just walks past and just like glances up at my, at me. He sees me like this. I think his dog just did a poop. Oh my gosh, he's having quite the morning today. Anyway, gosh, I'm sweating my titties off guys. Mm.